Hi everyone, it's Kirsten with Planted in Pots. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome for the first time, I guess, if you haven't been here before. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take a plain choir doormat and turn it into a crazy plant lady doormat like this. using a few inexpensive materials. So what you'll need is a plain choir doormat. I got mine for less than $5 at Ikea. Some multi-surface paint. I used black because it really pops. A little writer's tips, or I did link those on my blog post on plantedinpots.com. And then I taped off the edges to make sure that I didn't do it too unevenly. This isn't really necessary, it's an optional step. So you can use anything to measure, like a border essentially around your mat. And then I used tape and just kind of made guides for myself. And then I do recommend writing out what you want and how you want it spaced out before you start. So another recommended material, paper and a pencil. And then you also need a paintbrush. So I used kids Crayola cheap paintbrushes because I feel like they're firmer. Um, and that is to stab the paint into the choir mat to make sure it stays. So let's get started. So once you've gathered your materials and decided what you're going to write and sketched it out, on your doormat. The next step is going to be to give yourself a guide of where you want your lettering to be, or not to be rather. It doesn't have to be exact, but for me, I didn't want to start writing and write like zigzag and end up with like some letters up here and some down here. So, voila. You're going to take your paint and start the first row. The first layer that you start drawing with is not going to be very thick. It's just going to be like an outline of the letters essentially. So as you can see, the paint is not very thick. The next step is going to be to thicken it up and make sure it gets on both sides of the fibers so that it lasts a while. So when you do this step, you don't want to do it all at once because it's going to dry too fast and it's going to be messy. So I would recommend doing either a couple letters or one letter at a time um, or one word at a time depending on maybe how big the letters are and how fast you start to do this. So once you kind of retrace the letter, take your paintbrush and you're going to dab it into the choir mat. Be careful not to put your wrist down on the wet paint because although this paint dries pretty fast, you don't wanna risk smudging the other words. And you're just going to dab pretty hard onto the paint as you go. Make sure it gets down into the fibers so that as you're walking on this, it still lasts, you know?
You could also use stencils for this. I never have good luck with stencils personally. I feel like they always end up a little messier than if I just freehand it. I'm not good at tracing things apparently. I know they're supposed to make it easier, but totally a personal thing. User error most likely. Be careful when you're using the paint. If you drag it too deep in the choir, it will splatter at you and make kind of a mess. So I, I don't really get it into the mat until I'm using my paintbrush and like dabbing it down. You don't want to like drag it or else you'll end up with paint everywhere. That's what I did the first time. This one I chose to write, you better like plants and puppies, but on planetandpots.com I already put this written out tutorial up there and I did put different plant related sayings on there you could use for ideas or on my Planted in Pots Pinterest page. I made a board where I pinned some plant mats that I found for either sayings or the writing style that I liked. So you could use those for reference as well if you're not feeling very creative. Maybe that will inspire you. And there you have it. So super quick, super easy, super fun, quick little craft. And it's dog approved, fits as a fan. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next time. Bye.